let's do this fun human body puzzle together. Did you know the human body is kind of like a puzzle? It's made up of all different types of systems that work together so that we can do all kinds of fun things. Right here, we have someone who's wearing clothes over their skin. Do you know why we wear clothes? Well, we wear clothes over our skin to help protect it and to keep us comfortable. Clothes do a few important things. Clothes keep us warm or cool. When it's hot, light clothes can help us stay cool. And when it's cold, clothes keep our body warm, like jackets and scarves and hats. Clothes protect us from the sun. They block out the sun's rays so we don't get sunburn all over our body. Clothes keep us safe. They protect us from things that could scratch or poke or hurt our skin, like bugs and rough surfaces. Have you ever had a scratch or a cut before? Clothes keep our skin clean. They keep out the dirt and the germs and other things off our skin. Plus, we get to wear fun, stylish outfits to show off our style. Under our clothes is our skin. The skin is part of the integumentary system. That's hard to say. So this system includes your hair, skin, and even your fingernails. And it's like your body's protective shield. Your skin helps keep out germs, keeps your body safe from getting too hot or too cold, and even helps you feel things when you touch them. So that's a fun fact. Our skin is our largest organ. Everyone has beautiful skin, no matter what color it is or what it looks like. Under our skin here, you see the muscular system. Can you say that? Muscular system. Yeah, show me your muscles. The muscular system is like the body's superpower for moving. Muscles are stretchy things inside you that help you run, jump, lift, and even smile. When your muscles work with your bones, they help you move. Some muscles are strong and help you do things like lifting, and others help with small things like blinking your eyes. There are over 600 muscles in your body. Some muscles you can control, like when you wiggle your toes, and others, like your heart, work all by themselves to keep you alive. Muscles are always there helping you do everything. Did you know that the strongest muscle in our body is right here? The masseter, it's the muscle that helps you chew food. So next time you're chewing your food, make sure to thank your masseter, the strongest muscle in your body. Here you can see a lot of different systems working together. The brain is up here. The brain is part of the nervous system, which controls everything your body does, like thinking, moving, even breathing. And it's important to always be learning and making your brain stronger. Our heart is right here. The heart is part of the circulatory system, which moves blood around your body to give oxygen and nutrients to all your organs. Your heart is always pumping, pumping, pumping. Organs belong to different systems. For example, your lungs belong to the respiratory system. Lungs are like bags of air in your body. If you put your hand over your stomach and take a deep breath and take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, you can feel your lungs expanding and contracting. And in your stomach, you have the digestive system. This is where all that food goes. You eat your food and it goes down through your body, through your digestive system, all the way out into the body. Then we have our veins. These are also part of the circulatory system. They carry blood back to your heart after it delivers oxygen to your body. These red and blue lines are called veins. 
So the red arteries have more air and the blue veins have less air. And finally, we have our skeletal system. The skeletal system is like a big puzzle inside your body made up of lots of bones. These bones hold you up just like the frame of a building. Without your bones, we'd be all wobbly like jellyfish. Your bones also help protect important parts of your body, like your brain, heart, and lungs. Did you know that the human body has 206 bones? The smallest bone is called the stapes, and it's a tiny bone located in your ear it's about the size of a grain of rice. That's so tiny. And the largest bone is right here in your thigh. It's called the femur. It runs from your hip to your knee and helps support your body when you walk and stand. The femur is so strong because it has to carry a lot of weight and it helps you move around. Okay, let's put our body back together. So we're going to cover up our skeletal system with all the different systems that keep our organs running, like our circulatory system, and our nervous system, and our digestive system. All of these systems work together all the time, even when you're sleeping. Do you remember what this is called? Our heart. That's right. And do you remember what this is called? Your brain. Your brain is always working so hard. Give your brain a big kiss. Next, let's do the muscular system. It's important to stay active, running around, jumping, doing things that help our muscles get stronger. We also have to eat a lot of protein and healthy foods. When we give our body the food it needs, then we feel better. Next, let's cover up our muscular system with our skin. Our skin is the largest organ in our body. And our skin is pretty incredible. When you get a cut, your skin automatically starts to heal itself. Your body is pretty incredible. And finally, let's put some clothes on our skin to protect it. Here's a purple shirt with our flowers and a pink skirt. What do you like to wear? These are our arms and our hands, knees, toes. We wear shoes on our feet. Oh, and can't forget our head with a cute little hairdo. We did it. We did the whole puzzle. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you at my next learning video. Take care of your bodies. Let's read My Amazing Body, A First Look at Health and Fitness by Pat Thomas. You have an amazing body. So do all the other people in the world. You have a brain that can do more complicated thinking than any computer. You have a body that can move in more different ways than any robot. You have five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell that tell you lots of important things about the world around you without you even having to ask. Your body can do lots of other things on its own too. Your heart beats, your lungs breathe, and when you graze your knee or get a cold, 
Your body can make you well again without you having to tell it to. But your body can't do everything on its own. It needs some help from you. There are lots of ways you can help your body stay fit and healthy. All of them are easy and most of them are fun as well. How many different things can you think of that help keep your body healthy? How often do you do these things? Dancing, swimming, playing. There's so many things we can do. Food contains vitamins, minerals, and energy. These things help you think and play and grow. When you eat fresh fruits and vegetables and protein foods like meat, milk, and beans, you are giving your body the things it needs to grow. I see bread, milk, tomatoes, fruit. What do you like to eat? But when you eat lots of sweets, chips, and soft drinks, you are not giving your body the vitamins it needs. These foods and drinks may taste nice, but if you have them too often, your body may become sick. It's okay to eat these foods sometimes, but the best way to stay healthy is to eat lots of different kinds of foods every day. Another way to help your body is to use it in every way you can. That means getting lots of exercise. Exercise helps your muscles stay strong and fit and helps your bones grow. When you are running and jumping and stretching, you are exercising your heart and helping it to pump blood all over your body. You are also exercising your lungs, helping them to breathe in more air. Do you like to run and jump around? There are other ways to help your body stay healthy. When you bathe and brush your teeth, you are helping keep yourself clean and free from germs. And while exercising is good, resting is important too. We all need plenty of sleep and to have times when we can work or play quietly. Your body is always giving you clues about what it needs. When your body needs rest, you feel tired. See them yawning? When your body needs food, you feel hungry. And when your body has had enough food, you feel full. When you feel a pain, it's a message that a part of you needs care and attention. It's important to listen to the messages your body is sending you. Even healthy people get ill sometimes. It's never fun to get sick, but when you are sick, your body is doing something amazing. It is making a memory of that illness so that the next time you can get better more quickly. You only have one body and it is the most important thing you will ever own. Your body is built to last you a long time. And if you take really good care of it, it will. Take care of your amazing body. Please subscribe and I'll see you at my next learning video. Bye.